Big Sur. You know it. I know it. Social media knows it. And so it seems half the world knows this secret spot of beauty. Halfway between LA and the Bay, and it's increasingly difficult to find the quiet solitude that nature built into these hills. But nature has a way of protecting herself. With an average rainfall of two inches in most Decembers, Big Sur got dumped on. Records were broken, but more importantly, roads were washed out. With muddy landslides closing the roads in, we knew Big Sur would be empty. But the question remained, could we get there? But first, if we were going to camp in this weather, we wanted to fill our empty propane tanks and all three gas stations were sold out. As we left town, we saw a tanker truck filling a massive propane tank and decided to try our luck. We tried picking up propane, the entire town's out. Check this out, the truck is here right now, filling up their tank. The propane is sold out everywhere, apparently. And uh, on the uh, propane tank, there's a sign that said, out of propane. All of their tanks were empty as well. That truck arriving, filling up the propane is the only place you can get propane right now and is the only reason we're not gonna be freezing tonight. What perfect timing. With the rains lifted and the road reopened, we headed north to try and find a side road that would let us up into the mountains above the coast. As we gained elevation, we stopped several times to take pictures before entering the coastal forest. Stop for pictures while we let the other guys catch up. <laughs> this is the advantage of being in the front or the back. If you're in the back, you can stop and catch up. Here comes our buddies. We stopped to check out some campsites along the way, but our goal was to be as close to the water as possible. And so we began heading back downhill. As we returned to the coast, the road became wetter and steeper and a bit more dangerous as we looked down some deep cliffs. It was getting epic. What do you think? <laughs> this, is, this is pretty freaking ridiculous. There's a rock out. Man, we were way down there. After a lengthy discussion about the stability of this bluff, we decided to stay. And as soon as I turned off my Jeep, everything died. Okay, it's, what a beautiful spot, though, to every bad yeah. die. This is freaking amazing. We're driving up. We did have some electrical stuff going on. And now I'm dead. Fortunately, we do have boosters. The NOCO had a hard time recharging the battery and did something I've never seen before, which was give me this orange exclamation mark. If you see that, restart the NOCO and charge it again. 
I did this several times before the Jeep eventually started and everything came back up. Once the Jeep was started, I let it idle for a couple hours and charge up all systems, not realizing just how much fuel I was losing. That would become a problem the next day, but first, the sunset commanded our attention. Camp is quiet, and that means the meat is good. It's cold out here, by the way. We're all huddled around the fire. I'm over here cooking up some. Uh, uh, let me show you. Looking tasty. over there. A whole bunch more meat over here, not ready yet. What's that? Yeah, uh, underneath the uh, tin pole. Yeah. One slice. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of it, yeah. kind of just up making their coffee quietly it's funny it's almost like uh, everyone's so struck with the beauty we're just extra quiet today and uh, this place is well well deserving of that just show you where our camp is there's camp there's the ocean down there cooked bacon you're eating it cold <laughs> I've never thought of eating that cold man <laughs> I I have some with me maybe I'll try <laughs> I didn't realize uh, Don jacked his uh, Jeep to get level yeah pretty pretty clever huh yeah oh wow like a mountain man getting his coffee we're up taking pictures. First of all, thank you, Greg, for holding the camera. It's totally, I, I always feel like it's imposing when you're trying to make video of what you are doing, but then it's so worth it later. We are, right now, this is a spot. Uh, we drove a place called Los Burros Road. This isn't Pruitt Ridge. It's not Plaskett Ridge. Those are closed. It's been raining. They're shut down. Pretty well known anyways, and we kind of wanted to find a spot that required actual Jeep driving to get down to, and we found it. Uh, it was puckered up just a little bit, come down some of these hills, because you're looking down at just so far. But here we are on this cliffside. We're about 2,500 feet above the ocean, and man, it's beautiful. The, the sun went down. We were in time for sunset. We came up. The sun's come up again, and just all the colors of this whole place change every hour as the lighting changes. Now today we're going to continue to explore these ridges and drive around and be off the grid a little bit. It's great. A little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Yeah. 
up there? <laughs> All right. Can he make it? Oh, he made contact. He's coming, buddy. Oh, he's shooting it up.